this is the finished results. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing my makeup. Honestly, super proud of the time I did my makeup in my vlog. So I was like, I should update now that I have really good quality brushes which i'll also link below they're actually my makeup artist brushes she dropped a line and they're amazing i'm just gonna get into it first things first i use milk hydro grip primer love it it's the only primer i'm using but if i find another one that i feel makes my skin feel hydrated i'll let you guys know because right now this is the only primer that i use and i was using another one before if you guys watched my very first makeup video i didn't like it because it left like this white cast now we're like getting close so we can see i do have hyperpigmentation mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. anyway my skin is also hydrated because i did my skincare routine so it's very soft very moisturized anyway let's add this primer face is primed let's get straight to concealer so for concealers i love nars i think i talk about this every time i don't think i'm ever gonna switch out from nars so i use two shades for my first set of concealer i use the nars radiant in hazelnut and in biscuit i use this second to like brighten or highlight <laughs> and i use this one to start off with so we're gonna i need more of this actually all my brushes are from adoree beauty this is not sponsored this is just my makeup artist so i have to support you know so to blend i'm gonna be using the number 10 brush Now we have my marks basically covered. It's giving splotches, and that's okay. <laughs> um, I I don't know about y'all, but I like to spray water on my face like all the time. So I'm gonna spray some Radiance Complexion Mist. This is from a brand in Canada called Temi, and great I love I love it it's just a quick little I'm just somebody that needs to feel some hydration on my skin when I'm doing my makeup I find it makes my makeup look better so I'm gonna go in with my second NARS concealer in biscuit and this is the one I'll be using to highlight So while this sits for a bit, I'm actually going to start the contouring on my face to be 100% real with you. Um, I feel like I'm getting better with contouring my face just because I have a very round face. I don't really know what I'm doing. But I feel like whatever I'm doing is working. The deepest shade that I've been using right now to contour is the Born to Glow foundation from NYX which is not even in my mall anymore now that I take it in, so I'm gonna need to find something else to contour with soon. So here we are. We are looking a little insane, but we trust the process. So again, going back in with my number 10 brush, I'm going to blend out the concealer. Yeah, almost forgot what that. <laughs> almost forgot the word. Yeah, we're gonna blend with the concealer and then we're gonna go in and buff out the contour. Actually, hold on. I might have done it backwards. Let me buff out the contour first and then do the highlight. So sorry. We're gonna use the number five to buff out the contour. Don't come for me with how I hold this brush, but I just really push it in there, okay? Okay, now let's blend out the rest of the um, concealer. <laughs> I 
for the nose I'm gonna use the number seven brush just to buff out the uh, contour there so this is what we're looking like right now very like in your face so we're gonna get onto foundation I think I'll stay zoomed in actually I'm just gonna put a little primer on my lips I'm trying to stay so for foundation, I am two shades. I'll be going with my Natural Radiant NARS foundation. I am two shades. I am Macau, which is this shade. And I am also New Caledonia. You guys already know, I love NARS. Hands down, they're like one of the best makeup brands. So I'm gonna mix these two. This one is in Agua Su I don't know how to pronounce this one, I'm not gonna hold you. Just to balance it out, I just don't want my foundation to be too bright because I find sometimes it's too bright, but I think I've adjusted to it. Point is, usually I'm two, but I mix a third one in there anyway. <laughs> so as you guys seen, I mixed it on the back of my hand. This paintbrush is not a part of Angel's brush set. It's just a regular Amazon brush that I use to just mix it in. <laughs> I'm gonna take our actual foundation brush, which is number six, and I'm just gonna blend everything out. I'm even going over the areas that I contoured because when we bring back the original contour brush, I'm gonna like buff it back out so it'll be visible. It's just gonna be underneath. We want it to give like skin, you know what I mean? I'm going back in with my contour brush. I know I said I didn't need your help, but I see though that it's more warmer now I do I see the difference can't hold you right now I still use the Laura Mercier translucent honey I do want to get into a different setting powder I've been told about one size which I do use but they're setting spray so I'm gonna check that one out if you guys know any other setting powders please I'm gonna take my powder brush in number eight and just tap off the excess and we're just gonna set all the areas that I've highlighted this is like my favorite part I think it's because it just brightens everything you know what I mean like the difference oh it just makes my face feel like snatched we did the foundation contour um, setting powder I think now I kind of want to put some water in my face Okay, now I'm gonna brush out my brows and I'm just gonna fluff them out before I actually add the uh, gel. Hello. Okay. <laughs> to lay down my brows, I've been using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel, and it's been good. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I think it's been good, but. I don't know, maybe I'll find a better one, who knows. So I'm just gonna be looking in my mirror, but yes. For the actual filling in of my brows, I've been using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. And it looks like this. Oh my gosh, forget what it looks like. I just realized I'm also near the end of the brow pencil ah! to clean up around my brows i'm gonna go back with my first concealer Okay, so the brows are done. I like to do those little dots of beauty marks because I think they look pretty and they make the skin look more like skin. I like to use my mascara and I was gonna go with mascara next anyway. My method for the fake beauty mark <laughs> on top of my makeup is I use a bobby pin and I use my favorite mascara. I just dot this. Yeah, we can just I'm just gonna leave it to these two. So I love to use this mascara. It is my favorite one. We're gonna do this on bottom and top before we put on my lashes. I 
I don't have the specific name for the lashes that I'll be using because I didn't buy them. They're like a natural wisp. I believe they're Ardell. I could be wrong though. I'm just gonna take my duo glue and put them on the lash and get them on. So we have our lashes on. <laughs> We're gonna do lips now. Mmm. Not gonna hold you. This is my first lip pencil in like three years and it's not really a lip pencil. <laughs> this right now is my current lip combination. Right now I've been using the CoverGirl lip glosses. Yeah, they just give a nice shine to the lips, you know, so I use this gloss. I use the, it's basically done. I use this as well. But this is basically finished, which is so sad because that's my favorite nude gloss. And I got a brown, and gonna hold you guys, it is a eyeliner. It's a waterproof eyeliner, but it's a pencil and it's a cold pencil, so. So it's outlined. <laughs> I just like to smudge it a little bit in so it's not like harsh. I'm going to add the gloss now. This doesn't leave any color. Just love a good gloss, you know? about a gloss it just makes it look like juicy i'm gonna put that down here like what come on i've been on the one size beauty waterproof setting spray in a little mini can i'm gonna definitely buy the larger size of this Ooh, my eye you know what i forgot blush I'm just gonna go with the blush brush I honestly, I just use the, these two colors. I don't really, like I don't really um like a lot of color on my face. I'm not gonna hold you, but maybe this makes a difference, so. Yeah, I guess so, right? It's like a slight difference. <laughs> I'm gonna go wash my hands and undo the hair and show you guys the final look. This is the finished results. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, comment below if this was any help and I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care, be blessed when you do. Peace.